Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of House Flipper. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. I'm having a fantastic day. Today, I think I want to do the yacht with the ocean view. Now, this says 608 square meters. I have a really hard time believing that that's true. Like, that is massive, but like, it's a yacht. There's no way that all that space is actually, like, usable. Um, <laughs> like, there was a job where I had to clean a yacht, and I'm assuming it's the same map, and it was not that big. Um, 608, like, that would be, I think the largest house we've done was, like, 300 square meters or something like that. I think it was... Uh, the historic house. Yeah, the, the historic house. This house was massive, and this one was 342 square meters. So I think the size on this might be a little bit wrong, uh, but it's worth over half a million dollars in the state that it's in when you purchase it, so should sell for a nice amount. Uh, let's take a look and see what we're working with here. Let's just take a peek. We're going to be out in the ocean, the yacht with the ocean view. Obviously, we will have some cleanup to do. Oh, yeah, it's oof, yuck. This place is hideous. OK, so, yeah, we're going to have to uh, paint a lot of this, I think. Get rid of this like wood paneled texture. Everything is very dirty and quite nasty, but that's fine. We'll get that all cleaned up. Uh, not a ton of space, though. We got kind of like a nice space here. Some stuff there to work with. Heading up to the top floor, we've got more sort of space here, which is good. Again, lots of stuff we'll have to clean up. Uh, we'll have to figure out where we want to do a kitchen, if at all. I don't know if we even want to do, like, a proper kitchen. We might want to do, like, an outdoor kitchen that's more of, like, a grill and stuff like that. Here we have a bedroom and a bathroom. And then on the other side, we have another bedroom and bathroom. Okay. And then the stairs also go down here where we have... Looks like this was, like, a social room. There's, like, a bar area. And then here we have another bedroom and bathroom. Okay, so it's three bedroom, three bath. This could be like a living room slash bar, maybe a, like a small kitchenette. And then we'll have plenty of uh, seating room and stuff like that out here. Okay, yeah. So this place is not nearly as big as the, uh, the description <laughs> would lead you to believe. Um, but, ooh, and this is sparking. The, there's... Uh, am I, I? I guess that's how you fix the. I, I guess that's how you think uh, you fix things that are sparking. You hit them with a sledgehammer. <laughs> okay, uh, don't try that at home, kids. Um, anyway, first things first. We got to get this thing all cleaned up.
All right, my friends, I got the whole place all cleaned up and looking pretty good, I think. I mean, obviously, it still looks a little run down, but uh, we'll do something about that. There is one piece of trash, like a pair of jeans here or something, that I just cannot get rid of. Like, you can't select it. I even tried flamethrowering it, <laughs> and it just will not disappear. So, uh, maybe once I, like, put a new floor in here or something, it'll work? I don't know. Uh, but either way, the first thing that I need to do is fix the floors and the walls in a lot of places and repaint all of this, like, super worn wooden, uh, like, these worn, worn wooden walls here, uh, and then, like, these side bits. We're gonna have to do something about those. Uh, to get those all cleaned up. Now, believe it or not, I am not fabulously wealthy, nor do I have fabulously wealthy friends. So I have never been on a yacht before. Uh, so I think I'm going to look at, like, some reference images. I'm going to Google some reference images and just kind of get a good idea of, like, what the colors should be and the floors and, and that kind of stuff. Uh, and hopefully we'll be able to come up with something that looks really nice. Well, I have to say, it is looking a lot better. So, uh, I painted pretty much all of the walls on the decks uh, white or gray uh, for all of this sort of, like, guardrails and all that kind of stuff. All white or gray. Uh, I went with uh, Mankios light orange panels for the floors, which I think works super well for the deck of a yacht. Uh, same thing upstairs, uh, same panels there. Oh, I just, oh, no, 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 that's just a shadow. Never mind. Uh, so yeah, uh, and then down below, I went with kind of like this wooden, uh, vertical, like wooden panel texture, uh, in these two little stairwells, uh, popping over into the bedrooms. I kept them pretty much the same colors they were. I did swap out the floors in a couple places, and I may make some changes to this, but I left them for now. Uh, same with the bathrooms. Um, I swapped out the floor, but I might leave these. Uh, unfortunately, this, uh, this pair of jeans is, it, it's just there forever. It's a feature of the yacht, I guess. Uh, it can't be removed. <laughs> which is a little annoying. Also, uh, you can definitely see dirt on these windows, but it won't let you clean them. There, there's no prompt to clean the windows. A, a little annoying as well. Um, and then over on this side, we've got another bedroom, same kind of a deal. Uh, and then in here, this is going to be our social room. I went with a wood panel in here, and we're going to add color to this room uh, and contrast with the furniture. So we'll have like a dark wood tone bar, um, dark wood seating and things like that. Probably throw like a little kitchenette into this room as well. Uh, one other really annoying thing, no matter what I try, there is one strip right here that uh, you can't seem to repaint. Uh, no matter where I stand, like, it, it won't give me the ability to paint it. I can get one little tiny bit of it, like if I jump over here, but then I'm going to have one color uh, on this one little spot. So that's, again, just a feature of the ship. Looks like this map is a little bit buggy uh, compared to a lot of the other ones, which is unfortunate because it's a really cool idea for a, a house or a map or whatever you want to call it. Um, but all in all, the place is looking great, and we're ready to start moving furniture in. Also, uh, another small annoyance, this bit up here that we hit with the sledgehammer, um, yeah, this uh, also cannot be removed, and you'll notice it looks pretty worn. You can see rust and stuff on it. You can't swap this out for a better one, a newer one either. So it's just, it's like we're going to be selling a yacht that is used, ref it's going to be a little refurbished, but not completely refurbished, which is kind of annoying. I would like to completely refurbish the yacht, but it's fine. Uh, long story short, we're ready to start putting in furniture. Uh, so yeah, that's next. 
All right, I've got kind of the main deck here done, and I think I'm pretty happy with it. So over here, I used a couple of the outdoor couches from the Garden DLC mod uh, to make this kind of nice little wraparound circular couch with a table, a couple of champagne glasses. Uh, I did throw in a pool over here. I would have really preferred to have like a pool that was built into the floor and actually put that over here where the couch is. Uh, but none of those pools actually work. There, there are some of them in the game, uh, like these indoor swimming pools, right? But the problem is, even the smallest ones, you, you just can't place them anywhere on the deck, unfortunately. Uh, so I went with this pool instead. I think it works. It's kind of like a jacuzzi hot tub. Every yacht should have a pool, right? Um, over here, this is kind of our... Uh, cabin area. We've got uh, a nice chair with the steering controls and stuff like that. A couple of shelves. We've got some music out here for, uh, you know, uh, relaxing when you're out here, playing some music, chilling out. And then over here, another couple of couches uh, and some glasses on a coffee table. So that's kind of the downstairs area. Oh, also put in like a little sink uh, or like little kitchenette area over here. Nothing too crazy. Basically just a sink, a mini fridge, and then some counter space with an induction cooker. Uh, the idea is that, you know, you'd come over here to mix drinks or, uh, you know, whatever. Uh, just a small little kitchen area kind of hiding under the stairs here. Uh, and then just a couple plants. So nothing super crazy, but uh, I think it looks really nice. It's very clean, uh, and I think it works out really well. Well, I did the upstairs uh, deck area, and I kept this super simple also. So I put in a whole bunch of these bookcases, these like little cube organizer type cases all along the uh, front area here and on this side just because it filled it filled the space almost perfectly and it would give you plenty of room to stash uh, whatever it is you need up here through just like a old boombox radio juke type deal thing here uh, and then over here we've got another little countertop area um Here's a dishwasher, but this is just one big counter set, so I went with that. Uh, but yeah, there's a dishwasher up here, because it's like, why not? I, whatever. Uh, but again, just a place to mix drinks or whatever. Uh, over here, we've got a couch uh, with a little bit of a uh, kitchen uh, or with a um, coffee table, and then a couple more little like bench type seating things over here. Again, keeping it super simple. I wanted to keep it very clean, very, uh, you know, very just, just super like open and clean. That's the big thing that I'm going for. It's just like really nice. Uh, and yeah, I think this turned out great. So that's the upstairs uh, cabin area. So now I need to go and tackle the bedrooms and the, uh, the recreation room. Okay, so here are the bedrooms and uh, these two are pretty similar as far as layout and stuff goes. The furniture itself is a little different. So let's start with this one. We got a nice big bed here uh, with a couple of bedside tables and some lamps, painting on the wall, and then a, uh, a dresser just right here. Uh, I think I actually want a rug in here though. Let's just go... Um... What would be a good rug? Actually this one. That could work out really nicely for this room. It's very, like, ocean-y. Uh, I think it actually needs to move just a tiny bit that way, though. Yeah, that's a little better. There we go. So, yeah, and then just a rug. Uh, but, yeah, this is uh, one of the bedrooms, and I think it works out great. Moving into the bathroom, uh, went with, like, a white and black theme here. Uh, so this... Uh, kitchen sink set. I believe it's from the new Farm DLC. Uh, bathroom fixtures sinks. Yeah, it's the Vio Senna wide double sink, uh, but I made it black and white. Uh, and I think it's pretty good. And then we've got these like mirrors, uh, this like mirror cabinet hanging on the wall up here uh, with a couple of sconces. Then over here, we've got a nice large shower with a towel. I think I actually want to bring this down just a little bit. Let's put it about there. Uh, and then just a toilet and a uh, trash can. So keeping it really simple yet again, very clean. Uh, but I think it works out great. I did keep the uh, original wall uh, pattern in here. Although I think I did change the floor. 
But yeah, that's one bathroom and bedroom. And then moving over to the other side, uh, again, same basic layout. We've got a bed with two bedside tables, although I just realized I actually want some table lamps here. Let's go with maybe... Maybe these ones. These could look nice, uh, although not... I don't want them in black. Let's go maybe coarse dark oak. Let's put one here and one there. So a couple of table lights. Uh, but yeah, bedside cabinet uh, or bedside tables, uh, night lights, and then the large bed in the center of the room with a rug painting on this wall. To decorate this wall, I went ahead and threw up a guitar and just a hanging mirror and then another dresser here as well. These rooms... <sighs> Honestly, you can really only lay them out one way, sort of, because you have the two doors here, so this space basically has to be a walkway. And the rest of the space is so limited uh, that this is pretty much the only, like, reasonable way to lay it out, I think. I mean, I suppose you could have the bed come out from this wall, um, but, like, yeah, I I'm happy with this layout. Uh, and then for this bathroom... Uh, we've got a different sink, again, black and white theme, but this time we went with a different sink and mirror, a couple of sconces, put some shelves up on the wall here, and then a nice corner shower uh, and towels. Uh, but again, very similar bathroom layout. Um, and in this room... Yeah, I, I definitely left the original wall panel uh, color, but I'm pretty sure I changed the floor in here. Uh, so yeah, and here's the piece of trash that just will not go away, no matter what I do. So, <laughs> eh, it is what it is. Uh, you know, one other thing, let's put something right here. Let's put maybe, like, I'd like to put, like, a, a hanging decoration of some sort, I think, just hanging up on the wall, if I can find something that I actually think looks good. Maybe not like a plate. I'd love, I wish there was like an anchor. I mean, there is this, uh, this wheel, this like ship's wheel right here. We could do something like this. Oh, but I think we want to make it a different color. Like maybe this one and silver. Just so it pops out a little bit more. Yeah, I like that. I think we'll put that there. And then we'll put another one over on the other side, like right about there. So those will kind of match. I'll make sure that they're actually like the same height in just a second. Uh, but yeah, now I need to do the rec room and the other bedroom. Okay, so let's start with the bedroom here. Uh, this, I think, turned out really nice, actually. This feels a lot more spacious than uh, some of the other ones. Same basic layout. We've got our bed here in the middle with a couple of bedside tables. Um, I don't think I'm actually going to put lamps on these ones. I'm just going to leave them as is. And then here we've got a couple of cabinets. Uh, these are actually little dressers. Some shelves on the wall and then like a bookshelf here with a table lamp in the corner. And then I went with this particular painting, all the paintings on this uh, entire yacht. I wanted to make very kind of like ocean themed uh, because I think it fits. And then above the bed, I put this nice big uh, anchor uh, nautical wall decoration. So yeah, this is another bedroom. I think it turned out great. Uh, and then in here, this is our last bathroom. Threw some shelves up on this side. Uh, so this is all sort of shelving and storage. A uh, little trash can here in the corner. Went with a hanging sink and mirror. Uh, I do think I actually want some wall lights above this, uh, like a, a bathroom sconce. Let's just keep it really simple and just do like that sconce right there. That'll be fine. Um, so yeah, and then a mirror sconce, toilet, all this kind of good stuff. And a uh, this is, I believe, a different... Uh, corner shower than the last one. But uh, in this room, I did change the wall texture. I don't think I changed the floor texture, though. I think I left that the way it was. So yeah, that's our last bathroom. And then finally, the last room on the yacht is our recreation room. And I think this actually uh, turned out great as well. So 
We've got kind of like a little mini bar area over here with a couple of bar stools, mini fridge sitting on top of the bar so you could put your drinks or beverages or whatever inside of it. Uh, and then back behind, we've got some shelves that have a variety of different uh, bottles of liquor and wine and things like that on there. We've got a whole bunch of glasses over here, just a small radio, uh, a little uh, wheeled like bar cart uh, that you could wheel around and stuff like that. Uh, and then in here, we've got a nice uh, like brown leather corner sofa with a rug and a coffee table, another painting on the wall, some records, and then another one of these ship steering wheels to sort of fit the theme. Uh, all the wood in here, I believe, is Brazil nut or mahogany. Um, I think it's pretty much all Brazil nut for the most part. I think this one might be mahogany. Like there's a couple that didn't have Brazil nut, uh, but I think it works out. And then we've got uh, like this nice hanging light over the bar, which I think is always a really nice touch because you'd want to make sure you have plenty of light when you're working back here. Uh, also threw down just a little map behind the bar. Uh, but yeah, that is the recreation room or the, the lounge or whatever you would want to call it. And I think it looks really good. Like that's uh, the, I know that the floor and the walls are very much the same color, but then we break that up by using these darker wood tones and like the brown sofa and stuff like that. Uh, and I think it turned out great. So that is essentially the entire yacht. Uh, and I think it's ready to go. Oh, I, you know what? I just realized I forgot to show you guys over here on the very front. I just threw down a couple of sun chairs and a couple of little outdoor uh, tables between them. So, yeah, and things are really framey right now. I'm not getting great frame rates, which is a little unfortunate, but uh, but it's fine. But yeah, that is the yacht. Uh, we've looked at everything. We've got everything all renovated. There is obviously no yard, uh, so we don't have to do any garden stuff. So I think we're ready to just go ahead and try to sell this puppy. Uh, so let's put it on the auction. Looks like we have about 500, 600,000 into it. A little bit less than that. Probably like, probably like 575 would be my guess. And it looks like we're going to get about 163 in profit. Let's negotiate that a bit. See if maybe I can get them up to 180 somewhere around there it's worth a shot good there we go uh and i accept so we have now done the yacht we should get some pretty nice before and after pictures here because i didn't really change any of the layouts at all all the room layouts are exactly as they were but yeah i think i'm pretty happy with that i think it turned out great Everything got all cleaned up. All the rooms got a nice uh, overhaul and look to them. So yeah, not too shabby. I think I'm pretty happy with it. But guys, that is going to do it for the yacht. Uh, I don't know what our next house is going to be. The yacht is the most expensive house, air quotes, house. Because uh, <laughs> it's actually not a house, it's a boat. Um, or a ship, but, uh, I don't know what our next project is going to be, but we'll see. The yacht though is in the books and I'm pretty happy with it. Guys, that is going to do it for today's episode. If you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Links in the description below. So check that out as well. Otherwise, my friends, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.